So you want to learn how to make trap music. Congratulations on your wonderful life choices. In this video, I'm going to teach you the basics of turning your home or workplace into a drug haven in which to slang your product. Your product being melancholy dark beats with basses so fat it makes bitches want to shake their ass in a rhythmic fashion, like your stanky ass auntie does at the family Christmas party. In this video tutorial, I will create a simple trap beat. In future tutorials, I'll create a lesson plan for mainstream electro dance trap music that has been created in recent time with its damn song Where'd You Find This and Katy Perry Harlem Shake. First, what you gotta do is come up with a minor chord progression. Because trap music is sad. You can't make no happy sounding trap song. What the fuck is wrong with you? I chose the key of E minor, because nothing gets me thinking about the inequality in America than the E minor scale. Also, I make my own synths out of the basic preset because I'm not a basic bitch. To make your own synths, go to menu, then choose initial preset on any of your synthesizers. I use Silent One that I got from the internet, and I use basic, you know, square waves, saw waves. Also use the number three a lot because I like that number. Next, create an ARP. Trap music is loaded with plucky sounding arps or marching band trumpet noises. Why you may ask? Because now once you make an arp noise, create a simplistic yet haunting rhythm. Mm, more like this. Make it sound kind of like a mix of the Rugrats intro mallets and a horror film. For some reason, Trap has a lot of horror sounding arp melodies, which kind of make me feel like I'm drunk and high at the same time drinking champagne on an airplane in a crack house. Now I'm all about that bass, cause fuck the treble that shit hurts my ears. Put in a sub kick. Trap music has a certain swing to it. Place a sub kick on the first beat and then on the fourth beat of the first bar, then a kick on the second beat of the second bar. This creates the basic trap rhythm. To give the sub bass more melodic structure, one can change the pitch of the bass to match the change of the chord progression, along with a fancy fill every two bars. To make the kick stand out even more, layer two kicks on top of each other, one sub bass and one hit, to really break people's subwoofers in their cars and scare upper class neighborhoods as you drive by. Shooting. Just kidding, the CIA invented crack. Now you want to make a short and snappy snare. It feels kind of like it's cracking your eardrums. And now at the end of every fourth beat you can put a fill or a rise or a fall depending on your style. Since I'm open minded, I go both ways. Now here's my favorite part. You can't have a trap song without some people saying hey every other beat. It's just not a trap song without it. The purpose of the hey is because when you have the beat together it's just fun to say hey on every other beat. So when you put it all together it sounds pretty neat. Now it's everyone's favorite part about trap music, the hi-hats. This particular pattern right here is more of a soca rhythm. I chose it just to add some flavor to the beat. To create a hi-hat trap rhythm, place a hat on every eighth beat. So then afterwards you can fill it in in between to get the right sort of sprinkler thing going on. Cause you know, all trap rhythms kind of have that sprinkler thing going on where it sounds like a sprinkler. It sounds like it's watering the lawns. Remember the 90s when people used to water their lawns because we were running out of water very slowly. Now if you want to create a really thick fat sub bass, what you got to do is make sure that there is a thingy on it and that thingy is known as a uh, uh, equalizer. So make sure that nothing goes above like 300 hertz and you'll get the fattest basses known to mankind. Also, don't put an 808 kick or sub bass when you're doing a low bass like this because it'll just get muddy and sound like farts everywhere. And nobody wants to remake dubstep from 2012, am I right? Now using a bit of studio magic and several animal sacrifices, you can have a beat just like this. Or like this. Or like this. And this is how you make a trap beat, but a trap beat isn't a real trap beat without some lyrics on the beat. So I, being an egotistical weirdo, made my own rap. I mix and master and post, so any of you nerds who point out the peaking, fuck you. Living in the traps, no joke. Stay
stay woke to the lies deceiving you Force fed radio signals into your brain Covering up the lies, the pain, the shame Cursed from birth playing this game No winners, no losers, no prizes, no fame The only way out is through dealing and hustling Crime is directly proportional to poverty And there's more to this life you know Than the drinking, the smoking, the hoes Throwing all your money in the air And I swear, this is how this kind of life ain't fair, no And I know that you're not feeling this The truth, it hurts when you're living in blissful ignorance Some say there's truth in music That's why Top 40 thinks you're fucking stupid The ones at the top say lives from big party I got no invite, no RSPCT, no Illuminati Fuck that shit, chasing phantoms while rambling, dancing in mansions Made up of my own desires, dreams I'll acquire through fire Conspired for greatness, working class paradox Roach Motel ignorance What happened to free speech With words covered in bleach The ink is still unseen These kids are still dancing These white dudes are DJing Profiting off of irony Thank you so much for watching my tutorial on trap music. I hope you found it informational. Um, if you want to check out my other videos on how to make a witch house, click on this link. If you want to learn how to make chill wave, click on this link. If you want to see this vaporwave thing I did, click on this. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing and viewing and commenting and sharing my videos. Uh, I love you. A lot. Like, I would... I would commit a crime for you because you're you're my homie for life.